Hello, this is Awaken to Truth, and I am Michael Smith. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Okay, today I have a short little word for you. And before I get into it, I apologize for the delay in the length between videos. Um, I've been out of town, and unfortunately, I'm going to be out of town again here soon. But uh, I'm going to try to keep them coming as regularly as I can. Uh, but I've got a short little word for you today, and that word is about endurance. I believe that we are coming uh, into a time, and I think we've been in this time for a while now, where endurance, and I'm talking spiritually, is a necessity. The last couple of years have been tiring for the best of us in so many ways. And I believe, especially for ministers in churches, I don't know if any pastors may be watching, uh, but ministers in churches, I believe that they have been worn down to the point of exhaustion. And sometimes you need a rest, okay? So I'm not saying that we never rest. Sometimes we need to rest. Everybody needs that. But we also need to be ready and make sure that we are in shape and that we can endure the things that are to come. Because while I have a very optimistic outlook on things, I still believe that there probably are going to be some difficult uh, times ahead that we're going to work through as a society and as a church. And believers, especially with the onslaught of the attack of the adversary that is coming at our children today, that is coming at you personally, that is coming at morality in general. We need to be ready to endure. But I believe that as we prepare to endure, God is not just going to have us just endure where we just, you know, we're just keep, we keep going. At least we keep going. No, I believe he is going to give us victories along the way as we continue to endure the things. And those victories are going to energize us further. So I, I want to get into what I mean by that today. And I'm going to use a verse in the book of Hebrews. It's chapter 12. And it says, therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, lay aside every weight and sin, which so easily ensnares us and let us run with endurance the race that was set before us. Okay. First off, Weights and sin are delineated as two different things. There are things in your life that are weights that will weigh you down and they'll keep you from running your race as effectively and as quickly and as swiftly and as effortlessly as you could. Uh, and you have to decide what those weights are. We all have certain weights that can weigh on us that they're not necessarily sin, but they weigh us down and they keep us from operating as effectively as we could. Just like running a race with extra weight on your back. You might still be able to run the race. You might even be able to finish the race, but you're not going to run it as well as you would have if you would have set that weight aside at some point. If you would have set that weight aside at the beginning or even at the midpoint of the race, you would have ran the race much more effectively. So you determine what those weights are. Maybe it's too much time on the internet. Maybe it's, um, you know, who knows? Uh, it could be any number of things that is a weight in your life. Maybe it's certain company that you're keeping. That's a weight that just isn't benefiting your race or, or your walk with the Lord. And so we have to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit to lay aside those weights. But secondly, we also have to be ready to endure because it says, let us run the race with endurance that has been set before us. So this is what I really want to say. There is a race set before you right now. There is a path set before you right now. And in order to effectively run that path, you're going to have to endure. And when I say endure, I'm not talking about just being able to handle bad things. I'm talking about having the spiritual endurance to continue day in and day out, just like if you're preparing for a race, you have to build up your endurance because the race that's coming is going to wear you down if you're not ready. That's the word of the Holy Spirit to you. The race that is coming is going to wear you down if you are not ready. So listen to me, get ready now.
And endurance in the spiritual sense is not all that different than endurance in the physical sense. If you have to prepare to run a race, you're going to have to start somewhere. You can't run a 10 mile race if you haven't ran in six months. You're going to have to start at maybe a mile or two miles, and then you're going to work your way up. And by the time the race comes, you're going to be ready to endure the length of that race and be victorious. What the Holy Spirit, I believe, is speaking through this word today is that the race that is coming, the, the, the path that's coming, you're going to have to be spiritually ready. That means you're going to have to uh, stop neglecting the word of God. It's not that reading the word of God in and of itself has some magical power, but when we read it with an open heart, the Holy Spirit has the opportunity to speak to us and to plant things in our heart and in our lives that will strengthen us and help us to endure. You're going to have to stop neglecting the Lord in prayer. Now, let me share this about prayer. There have been times in my life that I'll call it my prayer muscle has been much stronger than other times. There have been times where I have prayed very consistently for 30, 40, 50, sometimes an hour a day on a regular basis for very extended periods of time. There have been other times where it has been difficult to pray, where it's been so easy to just let the day go by without really coming to the Lord in prayer. When I do that for extended periods of time, my prayer muscle is always a little weak when I enter back in. So I have to start just praying for 10, 15, 20 minutes. And then over time, that relationship that we have in prayer begins to build and it becomes much more enjoyable to pray. And the fruits of that prayer uh, are so beneficial that it causes us to want to come back to prayer day in and day out. It's kind of the simple uh, idea that an object in motion stays in motion, except it's in the spiritual sense. And when we don't neglect those things, we are able to build endurance that otherwise we would not be able to build. Now, here's the last thing I want to say to you today. We can do those things and get very little benefit from it. Just like you can go to the gym and work out but your presence in the gym doesn't guarantee that you're going to be building endurance in your body. Because maybe you go to the gym every day, but maybe you spend most of the time on your phone, you know, just flipping through your phone. Maybe you spend most of the time walking around. You're physically present, but you're not benefiting. There's oftentimes people that they will go through the motions of their Christian walk, of their uh, you know, some devotion time in scripture, or maybe a daily devotional that you read, or maybe a little time in prayer. You go through the motions so that you can check the box, but you don't ever really get the benefit because while you're doing it, you're not really present. And when we're not present, we're not going to be able to come into his presence. And his desire for us is that when we pray, that we would come into the presence of the Father and that we would have the leading of the Holy Spirit and that we would be able to hear what it is that he's saying to us and that we would be able to see what it is that he has for us. And then the path that is before us, we're able to run it and we're able to run it with endurance. We're able to endure the difficult parts of the race that aren't easy because we have been prepared and because we're in relationship and fellowship with the Father through his Son, Jesus Christ. I hope this little short message was a benefit to you and was a blessing to you. I thank you for taking the time to stop by, and I'll be back with another video very soon.